Hi everybody, Tone Paper, part two, five minute art school. We're gonna take what we learned yesterday about drawing on basic brown paper with a darker brown or black, highlighting with white, and I told you a little bit that it responds to a Tintoretto kind of thinking. Obviously other people are doing it too, but I wanted to give you a demo very quickly in my watercolor sketchbook how I'm thinking about this because we're visual, right? We want to see how to do it. And we'll switch over here. These are a couple sketches I did today in Arches. Today was day two of the Arches trip. It's amazing, still amazing, right? Notice I just dropped in a blue sky. Sometimes painters call that a tone, like a flat tone. I'm going to drop another tone in here. This is actually a uh, not a true arch. Uh, this is part of the double arch family, so it's enclosed back here. This is to the right of double arch. Sorry, I'm trying to paint and watch my camera at the same time. Notice, I'm just going over a simple line drawing, right? I What did I do in this section here? I created, essentially, toned paper. It is a flat-ish tone that goes across there. So now what do I do when I want to model that form? Well, I'm going to drop in another tone. I'm going to put in some shadow. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Sometimes Kitty likes to keep me company when I'm painting. I'm going to drop in some background here. Atmospheric perspective. Look at that. Oh, jeez, I did it again. <laughs> I need a cameraman. Anybody want to come on board as my official cameraman? Look at this. I'm using the same tone for that background part, but when it glazes over this yellow, that same tone is really great shadow. Excuse me, kitty. Coming through. Slightly darker only because it's overlapping. I'm using the exact same stuff from my watercolor tray. This is in shadow, so I'm gonna push that back a little bit more, and I'm just gonna keep going using that same brush. Right, I'm, I'm kind of pooling the water and pulling it over. There's a little watercolor technique for you. And get just a little bit more. And as I build up, the opacity here, right, because I'm layering, then you can see that form start to turn, get pushed back. I could drop in some things that I haven't drawn in here, very subtle-like. Boy, I'm sorry, my camera's all over the place. There we go. Okay, how's that looking? Is that making more sense? Notice, I just kind of left this as a highlight, a natural highlight, but in my watercolor tray, which I'll bring down here, I'm going to give myself just a little bit of white. I don't always highlight with white, but because this is already yellow, I can't really go uh, lighter in the yellow spectrum without it looking a little funky. So maybe let's just accentuate a little bit of that highlight up here. Now notice something. The key to this way of thinking is a planar understanding. My light source is coming from over here. That's why it's casting a shadow on the left hand side here and on the underside over here. So I need to be able to accurately show my knowledge of where that light source is coming from because what I'm showing in this light and dark toned paper kind of business is exactly that. I'm showing I know where the light source is and therefore I know where the shadow is because I know what that form's doing. I know that this is a rounder form than this is. Flat, blocky, chunky, rounded, columnar structure. Therefore, it's going to taper in a certain kind of way. 
and next Wednesday, I believe, we will be talking about diagramming a sphere, which will be very helpful if you don't understand about planar relationships. And I'm excited to share that with you. Be on the lookout the next couple days for a syllabus that uh, I'll be putting out towards the beginning of each week that will give a day-by-day -day description of exactly what I'm going to cover ahead of time. So you'll know how to make that part of your schedule or check back in after it's already posted. Great to see you. Great to be with you. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you Monday. Have a great day.